Hello and welcome. Sorry for taking so long with making another video, but I'll make it up to you with this one. Not too long ago I went to the Hoge Veluwe here in the Netherlands. It is a national park with multiple different habitats like forests, sand hills and more land. And different habitats also means different animals. Big, small, lots of legs, no legs at all. We've got it all. So, I hope you'll enjoy. Let's kick it off slowly. This is a grey slug. It mainly feeds on plants and fungi, but it also eats other slugs. It can chase them at a top speed of 9 meters per hour, which is pretty fast for snails and slugs. This video must be an absolute horror movie to any slugs watching. Alright, well let's turn up the speed with our next guest, the green tiger beetle. It's a ground beetle, and being carnivorous is typical for those insects. They can sprint at 2 kilometers an hour, which is way faster than the slug. And they can capture other bugs and spiders with their big mandibles. A much friendlier beetle is the maybug. These beetles are big and silly and they most often show up during the month, you probably guessed it, May. That's when they come crawling out of the ground from the holes they made as larvae. Now insects rely a lot on their antennas to sense smells, and the May beetle is particularly good at this, as they can fold open the end bits of their antennas to create a larger surface for picking up signals. Insects aren't the only animals that use something other than a nose for picking up scents. Some animals use their tongue. This highly dangerous snake, for example. I'm just kidding. This is a grass snake, also called a ring snake, because of the yellow ring around his neck. And it is completely harmless. Now I'm not saying a mature grass snake won't be able to bite you, but this juvenile one didn't hurt me, although he did make some threatening moves. They can grow up to be a bit longer than one meter, and they often live by the water and feed on frogs and salamanders. These prey always get swallowed whole and alive, with the head going first. They've got rear hook teeth to ensure a prey can't climb back out of the mouth easily. So, we'll go from no legs to many legs. This here is a millipede. And you may ask yourself, aren't millipedes cylindrical? Isn't this a centipede because it's flat? And those questions do make sense. However, there is no doubt that this is a millipede. There are several differences between milli and centipedes. Centipedes are usually carnivorous while millipedes eat a lot of dead plant material. Besides that, centipedes have one pair of legs for each segment of their body, while millipedes have two pairs of legs per segment. Now we've covered a lot of small animals that I filmed, but luckily I also encountered one of the biggest animals you can find in the Netherlands on land. The wild boar. These animals can easily reach a weight of over a hundred kilograms. And since we don't really have any large land predators here, they are quite fearless. The Hoge Veluwe surely is a great place to find them. All you have to do is take a walk when it's dusky outside.
And now on to the final animal of this video. While there were plenty of these particular uh, creature in the area where I walked, I couldn't manage to catch them or even film them as they rushed underneath the dead plants immediately before I even saw them. Eventually, I did manage to catch one. Yeah. Yes, baby, we captured a, s a lizard. <laughs> this is a sand lizard, a female that is. She has some very nice patterns on her back, almost like a leopard print. This one is about as big as they get, and this is quite a nice spot for her. Plenty of space to warm up in the sun, and the sand is quite useful as well, because these lizards lay their eggs in the sand and let the ground keep them warm. Seems like a risky method to me to leave your eggs out in the open, but I guess it works because there were a lot of them here. Well, time to let her run off again. And there you have it. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.